Ladies and gentlemen, we're back again with another match. The one you've been waiting to see, Mizkiff versus Boxbox Box in Losers Round 2, which means whoever loses this match is banished forever. How Later, Boxbox. Box. Oh, Miz feeling confident. We have uh, West Dog in the booth. Miz, you know, you've obviously been uh, grinding very hard for this match. I know you've been working around the clock to sharpen your skills. How are you feeling going into this match? I'm going to kick Box Box's ass. I feel like he's gotten really shitty at the game. Mm -hmm. I feel like uh, Box Box is a classic Box Box thing where he just thinks about something else and then gets really infatuated with that. He doesn't really care about Mario anymore. So now's my chance. Box Box, what do you have to say about those words? I'm actually shitting my pants because I got really infatuated with something else and now I haven't played Mario in a long time. I think I have to take the damn owl. That is very embarrassing. I think, uh, Miz, are you going to be taking the owl? I was infatuated with his words. Yes, I will be taking the owl, obviously. Both runners absolutely infatuated with each other. It seems like getting distracted by each other's words. I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't. West Dog, what do you think is going to happen? I think that both runners are going to give it their best and we're due for some high quality content on both twitch and eventually youtube hi youtube hi youtube all right for all the marbles three two one go best of luck here we go this is uh, a match that wasn't really expected. We did have a box box DQ in the winner's side, if you're wondering how he ended up in loser's side. But box box himself said that he is playing like doggy doo doo. He has not been uh, practicing too hard. So both players kind of coming from a place of just a little bit rusty. So I, I'm kind of, I'm very curious to see how this ends up going. I, I really think it could go either way, depending on how rusty each other is. They're both hitting Lakitu Skip. Wants to get out of the loser's bracket and all the matches I seen with uh miz he's had one crucial error on average per race here maybe things can change and we'll see one heck of a matchup but i'm thinking box box might take this home but well done bomb clip execute my both and we're getting some appreciation for the co-commentator's voice right now west dog with one of the most crisp beautiful voices in the commentary space just listening to his voice alone is making me feel a certain way I, I think you're hitting it right on the money box box he knows he can do this he's got the skills he's one of the fastest improving players i've seen out of like out of like all the streamers that that i've i've seen come into the game in the past couple years um Box Box took to it so quickly and just a beautiful Owlist. He was teasing, talking about using the Owl, but not this time. And Miz now going for Cannonless. And he does hit it. The winner of this goes on to face the winner of Kony and Virtual, which I'm hoping to get scheduled for sometime next week. Miz with a crazy Owlist. It does Ooh. work. And Box Box with a Cannonless. They are neck and neck. Box Box on his movement alone has been able to pull what looks like Almost three seconds over Miz just on Fortress and Castle movement. And that's where Box Box really shines. He just, he's a gamer. The man just attaches and absorbs, sucks up all of the game information into his brain just like a vacuum. He's able to understand how to move with, with uh, such little effort. He makes it look so easy. Slurping it up. Oh, Miz with a low wall kick. Love the visual synchronic synchronicity here from both these guys grabbing their seventh stars. Unfortunately, Box Box definitely got the lead. And Miz is just not afraid of the swag right now. The side flip in Owlis and now the back flip entryway into Cool Cool Mountain. He is, uh, he, he's just busting out all the swag points. Maybe we're perhaps trying to shave some time off with uh, the swag bonuses. Mm-hmm. Absolutely swagged the fuck up here. And Box Box with a, like a 10-second lead. And it, it, it hasn't even been that much time. I mean, Miz hasn't even been playing that bad. But Box Box is just, he's so clean with it. But I, I wouldn't count Miz out. I really wouldn't count Miz out. There's still so much left. So many areas you can have easy, simple deaths. The one thing I will say, Box Box actually lost in the sophomore 16, basically just due to the fact that he does very hard strats. He goes for some crazy stuff, and while that gives him a lot of speed, it also gives him uh, more chances to lose, lose the pace. But right now he's cooking in Dark World, just as I say it. Oh, oh, nice backup. Box Box taking a sweet time on the platforms here as Miz navigates his way across the cheese oh! block. All sorts of crazy things happening. I feel like they're getting the same cycle here. Miz playing it so close. My booty cheeks could crush diamonds. I'm clenched up right now in Dark World. 
We have the infinite staircase playing now. Miz can't find that red! Oh my gosh. <sighs> Fortunately, the ledge grab saving him. His box buck now winds up with a bonus <gasps> wide left. Missed throw in Dark World. Very rare. And taking the damage from the Bowser stomp. He's a very fat guy. The sheer weight of his meat collapses the very earth around him. Did we ever come to find out if uh, box box ended up being uh, two box or box squared? I remember that being a uh, whole chat argument from the sophomore 16. I don't know if that was ever settled. Go commentator saying box squared, but is that technically true? You know, if you think about one squared, it's one. Would box squared be box box or just box? It would clearly be box box. I, chat, did we settle it? Is it two times box or box squared? I, I don't know if we really need to bring the math into this. It's, it's a difficult topic because not everyone here really knows their math that well. I'm gonna be honest. I've seen some crazy displays of a lack of knowledge in the chat. So I think it's one of those discussions that quickly morphs into something catastrophic miss sliding under the star box with a bonk into LLL a lot of discussion going on in the chat Miz trying to side flip the boulder but that isn't gonna work box box getting rolled whole bunch of salami spaghetti pastrami spilling all over the place here as these boulders crushing not only their hopes but also their dreams Okay, a random chatter saying, like your mom, certainly out of pocket comment, and I don't really understand why it would even be brought up. You know, commentator definitely a little distraught after that comment. We'll see if he'll be able to get himself back. What? He's also struggling on the uh, on the emergency exit star as well, taking an extra jump ahead, uh, ahead of box box, so not gonna be getting any time there. Mm -mm. Speaking of math, Ooh, box, that, box, yep, too far box, right. Box. Yeah, he went too far right there. It's a classic issue that we see a lot of uh, runners fall into. I, I don't know if you saw it, but box box actually got the standing punch grab to grab Mips. It was it was pretty crazy. He's got a second clip. Miz could save a lot of time if he gets a good clip here. That might work. It does. Okay, he's down, but he's not out. I don't understand how Miz could possibly be getting lagged. He is playing on emulator. This is actually a sight to behold here. Possibly a rare counter factor to <laughs> gameplay taking uh, place right now. <laughs> you know what's funny is Emily actually brought it up. She's like, yo, Miz, you need to remember to change your counter factor. And he's like, yeah, 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 I got it. And uh, he doesn't. Clearly he doesn't. He probably just lost like... 10 seconds to lag. Box oh. Box might die in oh. Fire C. If I had to guess, he's probably done the left side thing. He knows how to do it, but it's just a little scary. Doesn't want to risk losing the whole thing. Box Box spinning all over the place. Miz, oh my, oh God. my God. How did either of those throws hit? Yeah, I, I really don't know. Much closer matchup than I anticipated here. Honestly, Miz has shown he can really rock the BLJ so far in the All-Star 16. This commentator does not recall how Box oh. Box does on his BLJs, but oh. he's struggling to get the stair clip. And just like that, Miz has taken a lead. Historically speaking, the BLJs have not been the best for Miz, but recently it seems like he's gotten a little better at them. But Box Box, oh. I think Box Box lost his speed and he, he might not hit. know it. He, he might hit. not know it. He hit the top of the door frame and he lost his speed. Yep. And we're still here on these stairs. Miz not catching. Box Box on his second go. He should have already been through. And Miz's angle is just ass. It, he's going for the angle on the wrong Thanks. staircase Thanks. here, trying Thanks. to avoid Thanks. wet dry world on the 50 star door. Box staircase. Box is through. What is this man doing with his camera? Oh. oh, just barely catching there. I mean, this is, it feels like a rerun at this point. Like I'm watching another episode of Seinfeld. There's just no laugh track, but you can hear the laughs still. If you listen very closely, seen it time and time again. You're right, faint laughter in the background. Some very creepy laughing going on as we also have BBH music playing. Box Box is in Bowser in the sky. Miz has still not gotten them. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna soon hear his yelling in the background. Oh! Oh, he loses it! Oh really, the, the big thing here, I think, is just not letting this affect game two too much. Because it's so easy to let what happens in game one bleed into your game two mentality. But at this point, it might just be time to let go. 
you know? But it's still possible. Anything could happen. Boxbox Box could miss all of his throws and die multiple times to Bowser. We have seen it happen before. And apparently Emily has gotten the controller. This is a, a slight breach of the terms of service, but we'll let it slide for entertainment value because it does not matter who's doing the BLJs, even if a tactical Emiru was called in. And there it is. It does not matter. Mm, winding it up. There it is. Box Box taking game one, but it was close. It, it really was anyone's game up until the BLJ incident. Box Box, you've got words to say. What's up? I shit myself during the plank setup or whatever. I didn't okay. even get to punch twice. What? Uh, no, you don't. You, you don't. Punch. Yeah, you do have to punch twice, simply. What are you talking I mean, oh, oh, you're doing the, the two punch setup. Yeah, with the two punch, and then, yeah, you do two punches. Yeah, yeah, on the two punch setup, you have to punch twice. I punched once, and I was like, wait. And I just sit there and guess. Well, it worked. So, do you guys want to know what I did wrong? Was it the I fact that you the did BLJs? The end, like, I really think I pretty much nailed everything. It was just the movement was kind of off. You know, I had the violence, I had the speed, the momentum just wasn't there. But other than that, I think I did pretty well. Like, Box Box, like, good game, man. <laughs> You're better than I thought you were. Like, seriously. <laughs> Thank you, man. The man shit himself for that first win. We'll see what he does to himself for a potential second one. You guys were very close going into the BLJ's Miz. There was a word on the street that you didn't actually even do the BLJs to get up to Sky. Is that is that true, or do we want to talk about it, or...? Yeah, I'm, I'm down to talk about it. So, uh... Um, box box is better than two speedrunners. So you box box, good job. And with that note, shall we uh, go ahead and get into game two here? All right, I'm counting down. Here we go, guys. Best of luck. Three, two, one, go. Good luck. Game one was uh, very close. Miz picked the uh. wrong file. The man is insanely cracked at finding new ways to stall even further. And he's just, is he just going? Are we he's not? He's gonna go for it. We're not gonna. He's, he's not gonna call for a, for a patented restart. He's no just restart. Except the time loss. See, maybe he just had to reset his seat and give him some more uh, favorable RNG, because of course, if anybody knows when it comes to 16 star speedruns, RNG is absolutely the biggest factor in a good run versus a bad run. These are uh, definitely things that people may say. Um, I personally would not be one to say that, but both of them hitting Lakitu skip. I'm gonna be honest, I think Box Box in the game one, he underplayed and Miz was overplaying. Like he was playing on point. So I'm, I'm curious to see what's gonna happen here in this round. That's a tiny bomb from Miz. It does work. That's crazy that that worked. So we're we're now in Womp's Fortress. Boxbox Box was saying something about punching twice for Cannonless, so I'm I'm slightly concerned because I don't know if that was a bit or if that was real. But he's got another Owlus in the bag. He was talking about bits. Oh, okay. Okay, I gotcha, gotcha. He's going yeah for texture. No punches necessary. Boom. Just connect. Let's see if Miz could follow it up. Oh, Ooh. that's. That's unfortunate. Little shaky here in Womps for Miz's box box just continuing to dominate in Womps Fortress. Yeah, this is commentator not even attempting to try and make it seem like it's close. This race might have just been over before it started. Doing even better than game one, which game one, excuse me, do you mind if I take my shirt off, West Dog? Not at all. All right, please, please serenade the people with your voice while I get a little more comfortable. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it is getting hot and steamy here in the All-Star 16. We thought we thought it was hot enough already with some heated gameplay, but now we've got some hotness in the commentary booth. Oh my god. Mm, much appreciated. Box box getting shocked. I'm box box once again also doing the side flip for that fourth red coin there. I've never seen anybody go for that. I don't know why he chooses to do it. Just avoiding death with a nice jump kick there on the platform as we now see Miz delivering the penguin. Oh! Oh! The, the death right before the eighth red coin from Box Box. And just like that, he's still 
has a full star lead. Trying to go for the switched strat again, but almost fell off of the edge there. Box Box being a very good homie to the All-Star 16. Uh, trying to throw a little bit here and make the match closer than what it seems to be. We truly respect content creators caring about the content as he falls off of the elevators. Not really sure what co-commentator's talking about right now. That was clearly a genuine mistake from Box Box. We don't do any sort of scripting of these races. If we did, then you know, there would at least have been one game three situation by now, but it's literally been two. Oh no. Host just being absolutely lost for words here, holding his head in shame. He can feel Miv's Kiff's emotions from all the way in his bedroom. Commentator trying his best to paint some sort of image as this being a uh, possibility to go to a game three, but just lost for words. We're going to pass it over to West Dog to see if he has anything to say. It is 16 star. Anything can happen. And frankly, we have seen everything happen. It's uh, we're only halfway through the run. If even then absolutely still have belief that this could turn into a game three could come down to many several factors. We'll just have to wait and see what the Mario gods choose for us could you keep talking hello i am still talking as ms kiff very clean on his bowser throws that is the one thing he seems to be doing well here in the dark world in this game so far uh keep it going uh, keep keep it going host is just absolutely just dumbfounded right now in the race just completely relying on co-commentator to carry the entertainment value here completely being put on the spot uh rambling on some absolutely useless words as box box stumbles and takes a death in the pit of doom in shifting sandland an absolutely unfortunate death there to say the very least as the co-commentator blesses us all with his uh beautiful commentary probably the, some of the most beautiful commentary i've heard in the past year easily the compliments pouring in here from simply i'm uh i'm uh getting uh flustered and heated up myself i perhaps think i need to take off my shirt as well just to uh match the vibes in this booth unfortunately oh, no one will be able to... i had already imagined you shirtless so to be honest nothing really changed but it's nice to know that you're standing with me in solidarity with the shirtlessness as box box goes into hmc miz not too far behind but still quite a heavy hill to climb and it's gonna be a hard hard climb for mids. Passing it oh, back to you. Yes, uh, hard things are definitely uh, definitely a thing to uh, struggle with here in the All-Star <laughs> 16. And, uh, <laughs> I uh, can't keep it together. <laughs> commentators failing to keep it together in the booth. Now, I will say that we do have an ASMR redeem, so if you can whisper for the next maybe five seconds, that would be very appreciated. Thank you. Do I really have to whisper, or can I just make it significantly lower, but with a lot of bass? You can do that as well. That is also oh, fine. Yeah. Apparently, people calling me Corpse Dog here in the chat. I have not heard the voice of Corpse Husband in a hot second on uh, Twitch.tv, so I'm glad to see that uh, we uh, still have Corpse with us in spirit through the power of this voice. And that was the best 20 seconds of my entire life. I don't even hear what words you said. They're posting question marks, so I don't know. Oh, oh, we have we have 16 stars from Box Box. I don't know if that's the question marks. Commentator struggling to even pay attention to the match anymore. Completely infatuated with co-commentary. Oh, Box Box is flexing. He might have gotten wind of the whole Miz starting late situation and maybe uh, decided that he would, you know do his part to just give himself a little bit of his own handicap. Because I think we're probably going to see the, the lag coming in from DDD for Miz as well. Oh my gosh, the Mipskiff has made a return! All right, Q finishing <gasps> up the yet doc. And the Miz Mips Kiff is passed Mips through the door. door. Miss Kiff getting up out of his seat, leaving the room. The door is shut. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think in all my years have I seen someone pass Mips through the door. Does he know uh, to go back to take a quick death or is he just going to call it right here? We may need to tune into the Miz stream. He is just holding his hands in utter disbelief. Yep, that... I, I, I don't think, and he's getting the star to even to even fuck his shit up even more because now Mips will not respawn if he gets into the, as if it matters anyway. It truly is the classic Mizkif at this point. He did it in the freshman 16. I, I don't know if it happened in the sophomore 16, but no one else, I, at least that I can remember, has done this in a tournament match and he has somehow managed to do it twice. <laughs> 
I don't even know what Miz is doing anymore, but uh, Box Box is going up the stairs. <laughs> Where is he going? Why? Just do this, please. Attempt, get attempting me out. LB, <laughs> attempting LBLJ in a no LBLJ tournament, really going off script. Here. <laughs> Bo Wait, what is Box Box doing? <laughs> Box Box getting 18 stars. Right. Never have I seen. 18 star speed run. This is a world first, tournament first, box box, just breaking the, the very foundation of what we know to be Mario 64 speed running. And box box is working to get this wrapped up. Let me go to the OST so we don't have BBH music playing at the end again because that is a joke. Box box with three. Never mind. I was just kidding. Uh, What's up? Pop a plot trolling Mizkiff on Twitter on the left side. Hey, Miz, you suck at SM64. We are on Twitter already before the match is even over. Boxbox Box can't find the final throw. What? What is that? What am I watching? We have Miz watching Pop a plot, watching myself, watching Boxbox, Box, watching Emily, who's being watched by Pop a plot as we're watching Boxbox Box get an 18 star world Fine. record with a 21 20. That Woo! is. It! What a game. It plucked our heartstrings. I plucked on the co-commentary's heartstrings, and uh, ultimately we got to see a new world record. Box Box, congratulations on the 18-star world record. Miz Kip, congratulations on once again passing Mips through the 30-star door. I don't know can how he does something? it. Can I say something? Can I say something? So, Paper Plate uh, was watching my stream, and the German, uh, first of all, I got reported 12 times by German people in my chat, which was ridiculous. I'm gonna say this. Paper Plate was watching me, and I got nervous that is uh i mean i have some other news for you i was also watching along with uh millions over here on our side of things i don't know if you're aware of that but there was a lot of people watching and after the mips passed through the door a lot of people laughing so you know it was entertaining box box how are you feeling hey i think i'm gonna upload this run to speedrun.com i'm very proud of it uh i missed the peach's secret slide skip I don't know how, what you're supposed to do there. It's something involving a jump. Yeah, th there's a jump there. Um, you figured it out though. You still got the star and you, you still got the W, which was rather impressive, which means you're going on into the loser semifinals. You'll be facing the winner of Kony and Virtual. Good oh, yeah. job. Uh Congratulations, Box Box. I'm excited to see the next match. And uh, Miz, you know, maybe next maybe next tournament. West Dog, thank you so much for the beautiful co-commentary, the beautiful voice. I hope you guys enjoyed the match, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your hump day. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Have a good rest of your stream, too. Box Box, we'll congrats on making history. Thank you, Mr. Dog. <laughs> Peace out. Banana, actually, all of them. Sixteen.